Welcome inside the Gridiron Now studios. I'm Amanda Borges here with Frank Frangie. It is time to look ahead to Atlanta and the SEC championship game. Alabama is a 17-point favorite against Florida. Frank, is that the biggest line ever in oh, this game? There's only been one bigger. It was back in 1995. Florida, undefeated, ranked number one, was a 24-point favorite over Arkansas. Here's what happened. The favorite team covered. They won the game 34-3. So. When a team's a big favorite, they're usually a big favorite for a reason, and Alabama's awfully good. Frank, well, let's start with the Crimson Tide. It seems like they're playing as well as they have been all season, so what's the key to success for them? I think the key is this is a Nick Saban team. They love to play defense. It's not only the best front seven in the country, I think it's as good a front seven as we've seen in years in America. I think that front seven is that good. Their defensive backs break on the ball, and they're running the football. They are tough, they are physical, and they are playing at a very high level, no question about it. Well, everyone's talking about the Heisman Trophy. Is Derrick Henry a lock for that trophy? Boy, it sure seems like it, Amanda. It seems like he has won the Heisman Trophy for a multitude of reasons. Number one, Leonard Fournette fell off a little bit. Dalvin Cook has played hurt a lot. Uh, obviously, McCaffrey's got great numbers at Stanford, but he doesn't have Derrick Henry numbers. I think Derrick Henry is head and shoulders ahead of the pack, and he keeps getting better. You know, some backs get better as the game goes on. He's, gotten, he's that guy. He gets better as the game goes on. He also gets better as the season goes on. I think Derrick Henry's going to win the Heisman Trophy. Well, Florida has looked awful in recent weeks, needing overtime to beat Florida Atlantic and then barely showing up in a 27-2 home loss to Florida State. How can they compete against Bama? It's going to be awfully tough. Number one, they're going to need some help. They're going to need somehow, some way, they're going to need some help with special teams. Bama's got to make a mistake. Florida State played a really clean game against the Gators. Didn't help them at all. I also think somehow, some way, Jim McElwain and Doug Nussmeyer, the offensive coordinator, have to change some things up. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. If they stay there in that pistol formation and shotgun, throw intermediate routes the way they've been doing, ask Treon to make plays in the pocket, they're going to get killed. Somehow, Florida's got to show up in Atlanta with some things that aren't on tape, things that Nick Saban can't study, Kirby Smart can't study. If they don't change it up a little bit, they have no chance to win the game. Jim McElwain and Doug Nussmeyer have to get creative. You have to, by the end of the first quarter, be going, wow, I didn't see that coming. That's their only chance to win the game. Well, everyone wants to know if they actually have a chance to win the game. It's going to be awfully hard. I, I think, uh, look, you always have a chance because they're going to play the game. And this is a 10-2 and two football team. Let's not lose sight of that. They have had a, they've had a marvelous season. They, they won the SEC East by three games over the next closest competitors. They have an all-world defense. So you're always in the game. But I don't see how they're going to score. I, I can't imagine them scoring very much on Alabama. So I think the line's about right. You always have a chance. But it's awfully tough for the Gators. I think Alabama wins, and I think they probably win big. For more on the SEC, check out gridironnow.com. We'll see you next time.